Perfect. So, so what I've got here is a competitor's glass. The competitor's glass has a 7 so Newton splash on it. Okay. Uh, and we've basically made a mock-up here that looks like a phone. One kilogram force, like two pounds or so. Alright. And what we'll do is we'll drop a ball. Now this is a 130 gram steel ball that we're going to drop on the, on the glass. Okay. Ball's going to roll down the tube. And as you see here, this is a strengthened piece of glass, but with a 7 Newton scratch in the glass, the glass is shattered. Okay. Oh, there you go, that, that took a big, pretty big spiderweb. So there you go. Something to look okay. forward to with a new throw with glass okay. three again. Less likely to scratch, and if it does scratch, uh, less likely to get that big no, scratch. So what I'll do is, right I'll there. now put in Gorilla Glass 3, okay? And do the same demo with Gorilla Glass 3. Thank you. Okay. Alright. And you see that the glass doesn't break. Okay. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Alright. What we'll do now is we'll raise this platform by a factor of three. And in doing so, we'll increase the impact energy at the point of contact by a factor of three. Okay. We'll start off with a piece of metal. This is a piece of aluminium. It's 0.8 millimeters thick, the same as the thickness of the glass that we were testing before. And we want to see what happens at that impact energy to the metal. Okay. Let the ball go down. All right. And you can see that the metal's dented. We'll do the same test with Gorilla Glass 3. Again with the 7 Newton scratch on it. Alright. Remember now this is three times more energy than it took to break this glass. Okay. And you can see there, it actually took two bounces. It's right? take, it take all bounced off it. Okay. Okay, under a shallow slope. You feel how heavy this is. Right? That's a 130 gram ball. I can confirm this is uh, quite heavy. And uh, can we see the glass up close? Absolutely. Can you see the glass up close? And so this is the glass that's managed to withstand two of those. I'm rubbing my finger on it just to make sure that there's no uh, uh, tricks here. And, um, can't see a thing. No, and in fact, what we'll do now is this glass withstood two of those bounces. We're going to stick that into this press over here. Okay. Turn that around a bit. Yep. You can turn it around. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to apply a load to this press, and this gauge is going to measure how much load I'm applying. Okay. I'm applying 100 pounds to the press. Okay. 100 pounds and the glass still doesn't break. Okay. What you see, this little ring around it is the ring to the uh, plastic film that we have on the glass. But the glass hasn't broken. I'm back. I just want to take some pictures. Yeah, sure. So, um, I mean, what's the tolerance in terms of sort of what's the breaking point that you have found on this piece of glass? Uh, we're still actually investigating that. Right? <laughs> significantly higher. Yeah. Really? But yes. it is significantly higher than what we're testing right now. Yeah. So, um, do you mind if I sort of scratch it with my thumb? Sort of just. Yeah, go ahead. So, scratch it. It's sort of. Sort of wiping off, wiping off my thumbprint, and there's nothing. There's nothing there. It's really difficult to bend. That's 